Stop filing emails. I have in my email, um, we use Outlook. Um, that's a whole uh, change management thing we'll talk about in a second. I had everything all labeled out, boom, boom, boom. Emails would come in, I'd open them, i put them in the folder, i open, put them in the folder, dealt with it, put it in the folder, put it in the folder. And then something would come up and go, you remember that email? Yeah, I remember that email. And then I'd start going through my folders. Where did I put it? Where did I put it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Scan, scan, scan. Um, I spent more time digging through my folders to find emails. Uh, what I started doing is using the very powerful native search apps. Gmail has them. Outlook has them. All I use is the search function now. And then I can sort through my searches. I can save my searches. I sort through items by date, by who they're from, by name, by subject. Saves me tons of time. In fact, when we're sitting at our admin meetings, we will have races. My principal will go, uh, what's that email from so-and-so? <laughs> go. And we one does all the folders and I just do my search. Uh, she's beating me maybe once or twice. Most of the time, I just pull up with uh, the search function and saving rules and things like that. So don't worry, spend your time filing, deleting, save everything. Yeah, uh, in Peel we have uh, 30 days or whatever, is it two months? Well, you can add, you can so, have to have 60 days. So here's what I do, instead of spending the time, is I create now old email, September 2015. At the, uh, once one month has gone by September, I highlight that whole month of September, I drag it into a folder, and I save it there in your old email. It's still totally searchable, takes me maybe about a minute, and once you've sorted and filed in our board, the rule is, they won't delete them. They only delete what's left in your inbox. So I just, I have an archive for now two and a half years, and just by month, September 2015, August 2015, July 2015, I keep every single email, and I can still find them, they're totally searchable that way. So I no longer invest the time of clicking, filing, doing all that. Just click searches when I need them. The other thing that helps too um, with emails are uh, get some conventions out to your staff to start using. Um, and then once they start doing that, it really starts to work. So we use some of these. Um, used to be the FYI uh, for your information. Um, you can be a little bit more clear when you use the NRR, no reply required. So you're directly saying you don't have to even reply to me. So I always treated FYI, with no reply required, and then a couple of well, times people you went, your email. Yeah, yeah, and stop sending the thanks emails too. That's the other thing that'll save you some time. Um, you can also have stock email responses that I can get into. Um, action, um, get this done. EOM works really well when you're just sending something really short. Uh, you put it in the subject line, you put EOM, end of message. They don't even have to open it. But as they go through their inbox, they can see what the message was. If they do it, they can open it, delete it really quick that way. Um, the uh, RB is a reply before. So if I have a deadline, I've asked a teacher, um, when are you going on your field trip? And then I put RB and the date, when I need that response by, so the teacher then knows what they're gonna do with it, okay? Um, we use as well just SOF, student of concern, student number. And so we have that convention, it saves the teacher's time, it saves me time as well. Um, just some general rules, subject line should be less than a tweet. If you're getting up to 140 characters in a subject line, you're wasting seconds typing that thing up, okay? Um, the best one is the KISS principle, okay? Keep it simple, stupid. Just keep it uh, short, sweet, and to the point. Uh, before I get to that, the other thing too is just what you do with your emails they come in. Um, it used to be uh, I wouldn't open an email until I knew I had a chance to act on it. And I still kind of follow that when I know it's going to be a pretty substantial email, I'll leave it unopened. But what's really nice is I will now, especially on uh, uh, iOS, is I flag emails. So if I'd open it and go, oh, that's pretty important, I can't handle it um, when I'm mobile. I flag it and then I can search by flag and I know all the important emails that I have to and must absolutely deal with. So it's just all about filtering through your time. 